Hey guys, welcome back to Floki's Models. Today I will be painting and hairspray chipping AFE Club's SD KFC 233. The first color to go down is Tamiya XF63 German Grey. This is thinned one to one with Mr. Leveling Thinner. This gets sprayed over all the exterior surfaces, making sure to get good coverage on all the frame, drivetrain, and suspension parts. Now I'll just leave you guys to the painting for a bit. I then added some Tamiya XF2 flat white to what I had left of the German grey in the airbrush. 
This would be way too much contrast for my liking, but since this is just my base for chipping, it's going to be fine. what we're looking like so far. Now for the main component of hairspray chipping, the hairspray. I'm going to decant some of this into this old pill bottle. I transfer this into my airbrush using a dropper. Then I will start giving all the parts that I want to chip two coats of this hairspray. Now for the color to be chipped. For this, I'm going to be using AK Real Color RAL 8020, thinned one-to-one -one with AK High Compatibility Thinner. The reason that I'm going to be using this thinner instead of Mr. Leveling Thinner is that Mr. Leveling Thinner is hotter and the paint bites in a lot better, making the paint a lot harder to chip in the end. The fenders and all upper surfaces get painted this color. The frame, drivetrain, and suspension stay in the German Gray. How we're looking so far.
Now to start the chipping. First on the rims. I'm using just plain tap water for this. I did just learn that adding a touch of dish soap to the water will help with getting the paint to start chipping. I will be testing that out on the next time I use the hairspray chipping technique. And this is the outcome of uh, one rim. Now I'm going to start chipping the 8 rat itself. Again, I'm just using tap water and an old round brush to chip the paint. I had a really hard time getting the fenders to start chipping and to achieve the level of chipping that I wanted on them. But it was just the opposite on the upper surfaces. It's like they started chipping a lot faster and I kind of got more chipping than what I wanted. and how the hairspray chipping turned out. If I would have thought ahead more, I would have masked the square on both sides for the crosses. So now I'm using some Vallejo German Grey to paint in the squares for them. I know it looks a bit darker now, but it dries to be almost identical in color. Now using the same Vallejo German Grey, I'm going to add some more chipping with the brush. I had also did some sponge chipping, but my junk camera corrupted the footage. And now for some progress photos. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are the reason I keep making these videos, and keep building kits in general. Next video I will start the weathering process, 
and maybe start working on the base too. I got a water depot scene in mind for this. I think it'd be really cool. Again, thank you all so much, and stay tuned for many more builds to come.